On the uh, day of the 50th anniversary, 50th anniversary of the moon landing, uh, July 20th, for Apollo 11, the spacecraft Juno passed close to uh, Jupiter, a mere 2,600 miles at its closest point, known as uh, Perigeo. This is its 21st time it's done this. And it flew uh, close to the Great Red Spot and was able to take some pictures of it. So we're going to show you these uh, images of the Great Red Spot, which is uh, right here. There it is, and uh, taken from a distance of uh, 26,000 miles. We'll just go to the next slide, and here's another view showing the Great Red Spot and the southern hemisphere of Jupiter, and a very detailed view of, of the Red Spot. Now, this is not the first time it's been to the Red Spot. It's, been, uh, it's flown over twice uh, before, and you can see some changes. Here's some material uh, coming off of the red spot, and uh, five months later, it's all gone. In the next image, uh, we see the northern hemisphere of Jupiter with these kind of swirly storms. And then notice this kind of brownish area. The next uh, slide, as, as, it, as uh, Juno moves over, uh, it reveals this gigantic uh, barge. or We call it a barge, but it's basically a whip by winds, like jet streams. Next slide, uh, some detailed views of storms, and this is, uh, the la last one is one of the best I've seen of uh, one of Jupiter's storms. This one is called the Swirl. Mm -hmm. And uh, remember, remember all these images are color enhanced, so, you know, they're actually pale in color if you actually uh, look at them uh, with your own eyes.